I, um, I have a few uh, logistical announcements to make. The first is that for those of you who are receiving continuing education credits, please do make sure to sign in and out each day so that you'll uh, get your credits. The second is that on your seats, you will find five by eight cards. The purpose of those cards is for you to write any questions or comments that you have during the sessions. We're going to have uh, people coming around picking up the cards from you. They will be taking them to a moderator who will then be looking at the cards and reading your questions so that rather than asking people to get up and to climb over several people and go to a microphone, we will have uh, cards for you to write out your questions and comments. We um, will not be giving detailed introductions. Uh, as you'll see, the conference is a series of panel discussions. So in order to save time, what we have done is put out front a list of brief biographical statements. So um, you will have those, and if you don't have one, you can get one at the break, but those give a biographical statement of each of the panelists. So rather than giving uh, introductions during the panels, you will have that information. Uh, there is an information table out front with a number of materials, so please do take a look at those and help yourself if you see something that you would like to take back home. There will be, uh, after the program today, a reception in this space. Everyone is invited, so please uh, do stay if you would like and enjoy some conversation with uh, the people who, uh, whom you, uh, we hope we'll meet today. For lunch, the session number two will go until 12.30. Uh, we will then begin the afternoon session at 1.30. During lunch, there will be a talk um, uh, that will uh, address um, crisis intervention training here on campus at USC. That will go from 12.45 to 1.15. It's going to be a very interesting talk. You are uh, more than welcome uh, to take your lunch and enjoy some of the beautiful day, or if that is an interest of yours, please stay for the talk. So uh, that is there for uh, your uh, information um, and education as you would find helpful. All right. I would like now to invite uh, Dean Robert Rasmussen from the University of Southern California Gould School of Law to come up and to welcome you to Many Voices, One Vision. Thank you, Dean. Uh, thank you, Steve. And uh, as Steve said, my name is Bob Rasmussen. I'm the Dean of the Gould School of Law. And it's my pleasure to welcome you here to our 2014 Spring Symposium of the Sachs Institute, Many Voices, One Vision, assisting college and university students to make the most of their academic experience. Um, this is really, I think, an appropriate event to have here at USC. At USC, as a university, we realized long ago that the mission of a great university is to take the various disciplines that we have around us. And each discipline is trying to figure out a little piece of what the human experience is. And we want to take those disciplines and use them to create policy that betters the lives for our society and for all of us. And it's that, in that spirit that when my colleague and friend, Ellen Sachs, was named a MacArthur Fellow, the so-called Genius Award, she decided to take uh, the award and found the Sachs Institute uh, for Mental Health Policy. Um, and in doing that, she was really embracing 
what we do as a university. If you look at what the Institute does, each year it has a symposium like this that addresses one of the pressing issues in mental health. And it looks at those issues through a variety of different lenses. You know, engineering, law, psychology, gerontology, on and on, trying to understand the issue. But it's more than just understanding the issue. It's not really just an academic enterprise. It's trying to understand the issue so we can formulate meaningful public policy, public policy that's going to make the, the lives of people better. That's what this institute's about. This institute has a short life but a long history ahead of it. It has already become one of the leading institutes in the world looking at mental health, and I am proud to say uh, that is here at the Gould School of Law, and as always, I'm very proud to say that Ellen Sachs is my friend and colleague, so enjoy today. Thank you. Well, thank you, Dean Rasmussen. My name is Stephen Benke, and on behalf of the Sachs Institute Board of Directors, I would like also to welcome you all to Many Voices, One Vision. I am delighted that we have over 50 schools represented among our attendees and speakers. Over the next two days, we will be talking about difficult and complex issues. The conversations that we have may not be easy or comfortable, and that is why it is so important that we have them. I would like to begin by thanking Dean Rasmussen for his unwavering support of the Sachs Institute and the conversations the Sachs Institute has begun at the University of Southern California. Your vision for the Institute and your presence at Institute events has sent a clear signal about the importance you attach to understanding the unique needs of students with mental disabilities and the rich and varied contributions these students bring to the law school and to the wider university community. Thank you for your support. Students are at the center of our program over the next two days. In this instance, the center can hold. When we think of the first generation of scholars with mental disabilities that have come out, we think of Ellen Sachs, Kay Jamison, Marsha Linehan. We think of people with enormous talent and energy who disclose their illness after they had compiled impressive academic and professional achievements. They told their stories when they had achieved unassailable professional stature. Many in the next generation of scholars are not waiting. They are willing to tell their stories now, and it is they who will carry this agenda forward. That takes courage. So now, I would like to ask all of the students who are on the program to please stand up so we can begin this conference by recognizing your courage in speaking out. Diversity is at the heart of the Sachs Institute mission. Being full and active participants, free from stigma in academic, social, policy, and political discourse is what the Institute seeks to achieve. Diversity has many aspects. The Institute is very pleased to include in our conference representatives from the LGBTQ community, the Muslim community, and the deaf community, among many others. Thank you for making this conference strong, stronger and better. I would like to point out that a feature of the program that reflects our thinking about diversity. As you will see, we have not built the conference around talks by individual speakers. The issues here require efforts by many people 
in conversation and working together. We have tried to model that approach through the structure and the format of our conference, which are based on panels of speakers with multiple diverse backgrounds and experiences. Finally, before we begin, the Institute would like to thank the many people who have contributed to our activ activities through financial contributions. We deeply appreciate your support. We have several major donors here today. George Handron from the Bear Foundation, Jennifer and Gary Hoff, Christine and Richard Getz, and Peter Blank from the Burton Blatt Foundation. Thank you very much for your support of the Sachs Institute and thank you all who have donated in any form, financially or through your time and efforts. We deeply appreciate your contributions.